In this Ultramarines vs. World Leaders battle, our friendly rivalry with Mini Wargaming heats up as Dave has suggested that Victor Dice is not enough and more needs to be put on the line. What happens if you win? Then you come to the bunker. 100%. You've never been to the bunker. Last time it was about t-shirts, but this time he looks to force TAC to finally go visit the bunker, Mini Wargaming's headquarters on the other side of the continent. Tack doesn't like to be away from work too long, so how will he respond? And if I win, you want to see Japan. So... Don't tease me. What are you saying? I will take you along. I will tour you around Japan, if you like, if I win. Attack? What in the name of the four gods of chaos? I concede. That's not how this works. <laughs> so I have to lose fair and square? Yeah. Wait, I'm trying to, wait. Oh, I'm so torn right now. Uh, Things just got really interesting. Welcome, tabletop gamers, to this 40K in 40 Minutes, the Conflicted Dave Edition. I don't want to win this game at all. I don't, because of what Pac's saying. He's saying if he wins, he's going to take me to Japan. So it's really is going to be like this pure, like, back and forth on my brain. It's going to be corn, corn, corn. No, don't win, don't win, corn, corn, corn. Facing Dave is Tack, one of the founders of PlayOn. These two have developed a bit of a friendly rivalry. At least, we're pretty sure it's friendly. We should probably do some preamble about how much I really like that you're here and I'm gonna enjoy this game and all those things. So, so genuine. I am very genuine. <laughs> yes, I'm so happy that you're here. It looks like it. The world leaders led by Angron want to see the galaxy burn. With courage and honor, the Ultramarines led by Rabute Gilliman look to strike down the heretics. In this part one of a two-part series, we see two Primarchs face off before things escalate further with four players and four Primarchs. Mini Wargamer Dave here from MiniWargaming.com. Dave from Mini Wargaming needs no introduction. Chaos Incarnate, he brings the world leaders to bring some pain. Just for the fun of it, both players decided to let Moobin build their lists. The world leaders are led by Angron, the massive demon Primarch who's suffering from a migraine. No wonder he's angry all the time. Karn the Betrayer leads a squad of Corn Berserkers. Another squad of Zerkers are led by a Master of Executions. And another squad of Berserkers that will just have to maim, kill, and burn on their own. He's got a Hellbrute, his only real is shooting, and a Mollerfeed. A squad of Jackals that Dave may use to grab objectives, and the Exalted 8-Bound. Dave's using a lot of Count Saz models today from Ravage Star, Armies of the Veil Touched. We are excited to see more about that game that's in the works. Rabute Gilliman, Primarch of the Ultramarines, is tax answer to Angron. There are two squads of Terminators, one led by a captain and the other led by a librarian. A squad of heavy intercessors probably going to babysit Tax zone while a squad of assault intercessors look to push forward. I bet Tax excited to try Infiltrators, one of his favorite units in 9th edition. What he's really excited for is running a triplet of Dreadnoughts, a Redemptor, a Brutalis, and a Ballistus. Hi, sweetheart. Just so you know, um, you are being recorded right now. So if that's okay, I do have a question for you, and it's very fun. So are you okay. ready? You ready for it? So Tax said that if he wins this battle report that we're playing, he's going to take us to Japan. What? Yes. Today's mission is purge the foe. Players will score four points for controlling an objective and four for controlling more than their opponent. There's also points for killing, just for you, Dave. Four victory points for killing an enemy unit and a bonus four for the player who outkills their opponent. Today's mission rule is sweep and clear, so objectives can remain under the control of a player even after a unit's moved off of it. Both players are also choosing to go tactical for secondaries, and that means they're randomly drawing secondary objectives in their command phase. With search and destroy, the armies will be deployed in a table quarter, and there's a small 18-inch no man's land in between them. My battle plan is to simply watch Dave implode. I feel like he thinks he's probably... Wait, he said if, he's, if he wins the game? Yes, that's right. If he wins, okay, so yep. He must feel like he's not going to win to make such an offer. I mean, th that's kind of what's going on. Like, I, I'm really confused. This game is brought to you by the amazing folks at Frontline Gaming. They produce terrain and battle mats, one of which we are using in this battle. Not only do they have everything you need for your game, they also bring people together. We have attended many events put on by Frontline Gaming, and hopefully we're going to be at more in the future. Make sure to check out their website to see their amazing catalog, paint service, and calendar of events. 
Don't forget to use our affiliate code, because that helps support our channel too. Now, back to the action. I'm excited to see what the players do in this game. Does Tack actually want to win? Can Dave fight his inner demons and not go full corn? The plan is to have no plan. It's just to move forward and to corn. That's the plan. Whatever happens is tax problem. And then watching him deal with the problem is the plan. Oh, you have a special ability that deploys you outside of deployment. Correct. I'm already gonna go try to stick you that objective. Deployed in such a way where hopefully they're gonna stay there for the entire game and deny you deep striking into my back line. This is the modest thing. Behind this building so you just don't peg them off. 10 man squad of assault intercessors. They have eyes for the prize, which is over in your corner there. You want this? I do want that objective. Okay. Come and that get will it. help me win the game. So you do wanna win. You do wanna take me to Japan. I said, oh. I'll give myself options for winning. Options for winning, okay, all right. My Brutus of Hell will go because I see this, but I'm not gonna make it easy for you, so I'm actually gonna go behind these things, all right? Let's meet in the middle, okay? Yeah, let's meet in the middle. Don't shoot me before we get to shake hands in the middle, okay, that's cheating. Mr. Master of Executions will join this unit. Mm -hmm. That Dreadnought is going to go there. Follow Corneas, Devastator S. Well, this is my close combat dread. Hold on. I thought this was a friendly match. Brock Gilliman. And you brought Angron. I didn't do anything. Mubin made the list. Mubin made my list. Gilliman is going to go right there. Excellent. Ah. Oh, look at you. You're all deployed on the line. That's how you're going to win this game. Pure aggression. That's how world leaders win. You just need to crash my lines. You need to oversaturate. I only have this many guns. And you are guaranteed to win this game. But I win if I go to Japan, so I... Uh, uh, uh. Tack is going to put both his Terminator squads and leaders in deep strike. Exalted eight pound. That's right. They're also part of this army. They're going to be up in the sky, not materialized yet. They'll come down physicalized on this plane of existence with their dad, and it's all going to be good. We are fully deployed here. What it comes down to is the roll to go first. You know what? The dice will tell the story. How about that? Sounds good to me. All right, here we go. Five. Five. You're definitely going first. Because I rolled a three. Hey, that equals an eight. Okay, I think Horn wants that. Top of the battle round. Eight dice. I'm gonna roll dice and we're gonna see what Korn wants. <sighs> Getting three sixes! I have two doubles and a triple six. Ah, <sighs> that's the blessing of Korn, man. That's what happens when Korn is blessing you. Unbridled bloodlust can advance and charge in the same turn. I'm also taking a second one. Rage Fueled Invigoration, that's plus two to their movement. Okay, so making it eight inch movement because Korn wants that. So it's all about the eights. Korn really wants you to win. I think Korn wants Japan. That's not you winning. But it is. That is a perfect turn one blessing of Korn. It gives Dave a real shot at bringing the hurt to tax forces if he wants to. And let's face it, of course he wants to. Or does he? Each player gains a command point. So right here, it's area denial. Dave draws area denial. He must secure the center of the table for points and storm hostile objectives. That puts tax infiltrators in the danger zone and that aggressive deployment may backfire on him. The world leaders now have a plus two to move. They also have advance and charge. And while I did deploy a little bit back, you can't deploy too far back because then you're just out of the game. Oath to corn instead of the oath of moment. What's the moment, okay? What's the corn oath is the one that matters here. He's gonna oath the corn to the ballistas. Okay. Rolling for this unit right here of corn berserkers with the, uh, oh, that's a good roll. These are sticky, meaning they can leave it and they're still holding it. Correct. Amazing. So for the jackals, I'm going to advance them forward as well. His entire force is advancing in every possible direction. I'm going to do Overwatch with the Ballistic Dreadnought, so I'm spending the command point. I'm going to do the Cracked Profile on the Missile Launcher. Overwatch now, not a bad call, as he could be in trouble early. Ooh, that's a whole lot of nothing. Well, maybe just an angry Mauler fiend. D6 
Demon Prince back here is going to advance. Mm -hmm. Okay. If Tack's plan was to reverse psychology his way to safety, it isn't working. Okay, so that's my moves, okay. Now for the shooting, I advanced like everything, so I'm not gonna shoot stuff, right? Now for the charge phase, right? Which now for the charge phase. I aptly call the corn phase. Demon Prince this uh, Oath of corn Dreadnought. The Demon Prince into the Ballistas, that's a big gun that could get shut down early. Mollerfiend into that. Mollerfiend fails his charge. So right here, let's go ahead and just try to corn it up and get those five Berserkers into the Dreadnought's face. So here we go. Six. Six makes you in. Ah, you're saying that without measuring. You're definitely in, so we're gonna go ahead and... Uh... Ooh, the five man Berserker squad is in. Infiltrators. Infiltrators, okay, yeah. That's... Six. Six makes it in. Do you think that's enough to get them all in or should I reroll this? What would you do? As a friend, what would be your advice? With Berserkers, you will have enough attacks. Done. Okay, let's move in. That plus two to move in advance and charge is giving Dave a real early advantage. Hold on one second. This feels like it's happening too quickly, Tack. What, my trip to Ontario? You roll perfectly on almost everything that you could have. This is silly. You Why are... did you rig the universe to make me not go to Japan? Dave. Yeah. Kill. Maim. Burn. burn. Kill me and burn. Kill me and burn. Okay, all right. With some gentle suggestions for moving, it looks like Dave's choosing violence. <laughs> <laughs> End of the charge phase. Betrayer. Karnas. Hey, we're not in combat. I'm angry! Ah. Here's the leadership test to make sure I get a six. So he passes. He's not that angry. His friends survive. You're lucky we're close enough that I can see through the trees. Meet on the other side. Now over there, I'm going to go ahead and do the fight phase and start with uh, Mastered Execution from the 10 Berserker squad. So yeah. one, two, three, four, five, six Berserkers are in combat. Wait, wait, wait. You said they can all go in. I didn't say they can all. You said, they, you said it wouldn't be an issue. With Berserkers, you will have enough attacks. But they could, like, probably I didn't say it was an issue that you're going to kill that squad with six Berserkers and a Master of Execution. Have you loaded these dice to make me win on purpose? We treat our guest ball here, Dave. One, two, three. AP2, two, two damage. Five ups first. Yes. Of which I made only one, and I have a six up feel no pain. So the first one is dead. Yes. Second one. Oh no, it's dead. You look way too happy about this. You're way too happy about this. And the third one is... Dead. Mm. Don't you want to reroll? I have no command points. There are Berserkers, enough to have 20 attacks that can attack you. Reverse yeah. psychology is not working. Those Berserkers made a short work of those infiltrators. They never stood a chance. Whispers in the warp were telling me that there's blood for the blood god. Command point that, and then roll again on the blessings of corn table. And that to me sounds like martial excellence. I'm really worried about that demon prince into the blisters because you get to reroll his end wounds. Let's do that next. Sure. Okay. So hitting a twos. There we go. Okay. Get no. Uh, one. There's one one in there, so I can reroll it. Dane hits extra attack because of the six. Thank you very much. Three. Three's to wound, but I get to reroll this because your oath gone. I need to make a lot of four ups here, or else that dreadnought is in trouble. I think you'll make a lot. Uh, uh, nope, I, he dies. Uh, do I explode? I do not. Well, that's cool. That favorite of corn, Demon Prince, takes out the Ballistas. That is a big blow. Paw and touch, and make sure all five of them get to attack. The Redemptor is tickled by the Zerkers, but whiffs with his counterattack, and only one Berserker <laughs> dies. Oh. So before we move on, at the end of your turn, Dave, because you did so fantastically well. Ice cream. On your objectives, and we will go for ice cream later. For five points for your Storm Hostile, and you are fully, wholly within six of the center, I believe. I hope so. You didn't move yourself out, did you? Oh, you moved yourself out with a charge. See, now that I would have done anyway. Dave scores five points for Storm Hostile objective, and he's off to an early lead, but more importantly, he's really stuck Tack in his own zone. How's Tack gonna respond? Playing a few games of 10, I've never had this harsh of an alpha strike. I'm gonna try a gamble. I'm gonna Oath of Moment, a squad of Berserkers in the middle of the table. 
Tack calls Oath a moment on those Berserkers in the middle, and author of the Codex on the Demon Prince. If Tack manages to take out the Berserkers, he's going to get to reroll hits and wounds against the Demon Prince. The first secondary I have is Bring It Down. For secondaries, Tack's drawn Bring It Down, so he's going to kill some of those big threats and secure No Man's Land. He's going to get to two No Man's Land objectives. That may prove difficult. It's possible, but difficult. Movement phase, and Tack can really only reshuffle his forces a bit with all the world leaders already in his face. We are past the movement phase, we're into the shooting Shooting phase. phase. Got it. The Brutalis Dreadnought is going to launch everything into your Berserkers. So two shots from the multi melta A hit with both. So wounding on twos. AP4. You say, where do we bury the bodies? This is the twin Icarus firing into you. That Brutalis has only one target and fails to do much. Not only does it whiff badly, but now those Zerkers can blood surge and actually move into engagement with the Dreadnought. They always count as attacking first. That means Corden's gonna want that. So I think you knew that, and you set a trap for me. Make me kill you. Nope. I need to go get my objectives. I know Tack didn't have a lot of options here, but this may prove to be a bit of a tactical error. Second Dreadnought is going to now shoot into the uh, Berserkers in front of him. Twin Stormbolters first. See what happens. They are my ultimate moment target. Only one so far, but I am re-rolling because of also moment. The Redemptor Dreadnought needed to do more work against those Berserkers, I think. Tack thought with all the re-rolls that it would have happened, and, and I got to kind of agree with him. Four up saves, making four, one goes through. All right, so then my Assault Intercessors are going to go. They're going to just try to take a few wounds off of your Berserkers. So the first thing I'm going to do is the Sergeant has a plasma pistol. I am going to overcharge it. So hitting on a three, that is a hit on a two, because your average toughness is four. Uh, so that is a wound. Six. Ooh. And then I need to take a hazardous test. Hazardous. Which I pass. So he does not blow his own brains out. Nine are firing their heavy bolt pistols at you. So on fours? Mm-hmm. Oh, both through. Okay. Kills another one. Shooting the hand of Dominion. I'm also gonna shoot into your berserkers there. Two shots. Threes. Five up. Save none. Yep, so two more dead. The heavy intercessors here are going to fire into your berserkers. I did not move, uh, so they're heavy, so I'm going to get plus one to hit. It's not that many shots. On threes, four, as in I missed four. So one more dies. All right, going to the charge phase. Okay. Gilliman is going to charge your demon prince. Charge phase now, and Tack really needs to optimize what little he's got left. Multi charging with the big squad of assault intercessors. I think you're about to kill things. I'm gonna try really hard to. I'm very happy about this. So you have fight first. Defender always goes first in any fight phase because we both have fight first in a fight first phase. These berserkers go first. Master of executions now attacking your redemptor over there. Mm-hmm. Wounding on fives. Getting three wounds. Three wounds. Oh ho ho. Tack. Tack. None of them. Come on. It was two damage each. That means that six that's taken off. Eviscerator, three attacks. Hitting on threes. Now wounding you. On fives. Nothing. 16 attacks with the rest of the Berserkers. Sustained hits, looking for sixes. Getting two. Fives to wound. Sixes. Sixes. Oh. Ooh. Okay, that's. So three ups. Let's see if I can uh, not get bracketed. Luckily, I do not get bracketed. Wow. Okay, wow. then we go into the rest of the fight first. And so. This is where I need to be tricky and also stay in coherency. I'm gonna come over to your side because I've got a daisy chain of assault intercessors. So would you mind moving? Oh, yes, Thank no you. problem. So they anything have, for you, Tack. Anything, eh? Yep. All right, well, are you paying Including for my trip to, to, to the, my, to my flight? Japan my flight, you. are you paying for, paying for my flight? Are you saying if I pay for your flight to Japan, I can just go automatically? So they're gonna move three. <laughs> That is the best response. So five Assault Intercessors can fight into your Berserkers, and three Assault Intercessors can fight into your Demon Prince. Hitting on threes, or the moment target. That was a lot of fails. More than half. Yeah, that was really bad. Uh, then they all hit. I'm needing fours. We're rolling. 14 AP1. 14 AP1. Four ups. He's alive with one, which means I don't proc those the moment. moment. Yeah, on the Demon Prince. Oh, that's rough. So the next up is my three assault intercessors 
So I can go into the demon prince. So wounding on sixes. Wow. Not a single six. And no of the moment. And no of the moment, so no rerolls. That one dude surviving made all the difference. Gilliman is not gonna go because he's in the fight first phase. Uh, with seven attacks from the hand of Dominion. It's got lethal hits. If you fail three of these, he goes down. I fail three. Gilliman does it and just barely takes out the Demon Prince, but wait! Command reroll, the Demon Prince lives! Yes! Not knocking down the Demon Prince with Gilliman is a big deal. Uh, this is gonna hurt. Okay, Demon Prince, I'm gonna definitely go for the largest skull there, which is the Gilliman's. Okay. And I have a number of tags, which I believe is six. On two. So I'm gonna take my frog pinball. Yes. And hope for the best. Two. I make two. Six damage. Six damage. This is a bloody first turn. I haven't played a game of 10 where the first turn has been this bloody. Rabute down to four wounds remaining. Ouch! Brutalis Strat is going to do a sweep into the Berserkers. Kind of the kind of stuff we got going on here. Four up saves. Uh, two go through. Okay, so kills uh, one, and then one has a wound. Oh, Hero Berserker into Assault Intercessor. Threes. That's nothing. The Redemptor Dread will go. Five attacks, hitting into the lone Berserker that is left. Wounded you three times. Five ups. Nope, nope. No secondary scored by attack in that turn. Both players score primary mission points by killing at least one unit, but Dave gets the bonus four points for killing more than Tack did. Dave's showing he really, really, really doesn't want that trip to Japan as he takes a strong lead, 13 to four at the end of turn one. Are you blessed again? Eight dice. Let's see what we get this time. We get three fives and three fours and two ones. Another great roll for those blessings. Corn is really blessing Dave here today. Warp blades and unbridled bloodlust. Can you stop rolling so hot on your blessing? <laughs> Dude, it's your dice. Assassination. Oh no. Dave draws assassination and will score points for killing a character. Definitely going after Gilliman. Yeah. The World Eater's superior board presence scores Dave eight primary points, bringing his score to a commanding 21 to four. All right, so you're going to advance the uh, Mother Fiend? I don't even need to advance them technically, but I'm just going to anyway. Karn and Co. that's going to be advancing now. Uh-oh. You know what? I see these Assault Intercessors mm -hmm. as a nuisance. World Eaters continue to close in on the Ultramarines. Okay, now, end of the movement phase. And grod. Not a lot of units to begin with. Tax left a hole big enough for a giant angry Primarch. Rage. Bringing in these eight bound. Bum, 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 bum. Ooh, the exalted eight bound land too. If all these charges are in, this could be a real short game. He phase a multi melta on this hell brute right here. Shoot the redemptor. And then play catch with bullets. Whoa, Dave's got shooting. That's nothing. But his Hellbrute doesn't do much, and he quickly moves to the charge phase. The phase which matches most. So we're gonna go eight bound into the Redemptor on the far side. Getting an out. But now for Angron. Let's see, where does Angron want to go? I don't know, where does Angron want to go? He sees a really big skull in front of him in the name of a Redemptor. So he's gonna go right straight ahead. At the Redemptor Dread. And whatever happens, happens, and it's gonna be then, and they're gonna spend a command point to re-roll that and see what happens. And two new dice, because the two old ones are fired. Angron, 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 Angron! And here we go, look what we got! Another five, that's a fail. Mm. Angron failed his charge. He, did, he, you know, he like sprained an ankle. He's just landed, and he's not moving anywhere. Mollerfiend charging in the Gilliman. Did you look at that? So here it goes. Bum, bum, bum. I'm hungry too. Karn and the Berserkers now charging into the Assault Intercessors. Triggering his aura in engagement with the Assault Intercessors and with Gilman. So they have to take Battle Shock tests. Correct. So Gilman fails. Ooh. Gilman is Battle Shocked. Assault Intercessors, are they Battle Shocked? Uh, they are not. I'm going to Karn and Co. into those dudes. Karn the Betrayer and Berserkers. Nine attacks with Gore Child, hitting on two. All hits. And each one of these fails is unfortunately a dead primary. So you killed four. 
Four, okay. He does half a corn with a single swing. This is rage happy, rage happy right now. World eater! Now for the Berserkers. It's two the Eviscerate, it's two damage, isn't it? Hitting on threes. They get to reroll ones because of Karn. That's right. So here we go, that's three. Awesomeness. So lose another three. Okay, so now for the other attacks from the rest of the Berserkers. Which you have four left? Looking for sixes, getting a bunch because of lethal hits, rerolling the ones because they're next to Karn. Do you want me to talk about Because there's more moves. Uh, kind of, oh, look, they're dead. Let's see if Mollerfee can take out Gilda. I get seven attacks on the charge here. Oh, I get two lethal hits. Here's again. Getting only one more, so that's three wounds with the fist. Corp save, of which I fail two, and he dies. Oh. Gilliman Guillemin is squashed by the Mauler Fist. He can resurrect once per battle. Tack's really gonna need his Primarch back in order to stay in this fight. So let's see if you kill every house. Okay, Master of Execution. Fives. Getting nothing. So hitting on threes. And now we're wounding. So I have a four up. See if I can make any saves I cannot. Okay, so he's got two wounds left. Now for the rest of the Berserkers. Mm -hmm. Oh, Ooh, wow. Oh. Okay, please. I feel one. I am down to a single wound left. The Brutalis is down to one rune remaining. He's limping, but he's not out. Because I have a single wound left, I am now damaged, so it's minus one to my hit. That is a really good roll. I've dropped two. I get to re-roll because it is a twin link weapon. Uh, so that is four. Five ups. Saving three. I kill the one with one wound. One Berserker dies to his close combat dreadnought. You know, Tack, you never really have had any luck with that thing. Now that the fighting is over, thank God, and now that you've really brutalized my forces, I have a very important roll to make. On a three up, Gilliman gets back up. Okay. On a one or two, I probably lose this game. Four. He's back up. Holy He's crap. Back up. He is back up. And Gulliman stands back up. There is life in the Ultramarines yet. That is so many points of Space Marines that I seem to be missing. Dave still denied his airy denial, but with Gilliman going down once he gets the assassination point. Taxil has his Terminators to come in as well. Do I smell a comeback? Secondaries, I still have secure no man's land and bring it down. So I'm going to do my very best at the bring it down. Oath of moment to the demon prince first and then apply oath of moment to the Angron. I do need to take battle shock dreadnought because he's down to one wound, uh, which I passed. So he is not battle shocked. No doctrine will really help him here and there may be need for them later. He does use adaptive strategy in the brutalis dread and puts it into tactical doctrine so it can fall back, shoot and then charge back in. I have one objective. Yay. Tax score nudges up four points to bring him to eight. Gilman is going to say hello to his brother. Hello. Gilman Gulliman has turned to face Angron. Is he going to make him pay for his crime of doing absolutely nothing? He's going to walk this way. What is he doing? He claimed that objective. He's OC4. Brutalis falls back thanks to adaptive strategy. Terminator Squad 1 is in to try to take an objective, and Terminator Squad 2 is also in to try to take an objective. Come say hello to your Dreadnought. Going into the shooting phase, this Dreadnought, and go into your Demon Prince. D6 plus one. I am hitting on threes into your Demon Prince. I am re-rolling because of, uh, close a moment, I hit off three times. I'm wounding on fours. And filling my shots. I'll be optimistic and get two dice here. So you have four ups. You make both. Storm bolters, wounding on fours. So then heavy intercessors and fire into the demon prince. Fives. You'll get four. You have a three up. One goes through. Does that mean I have one wound left? No, it doesn't mean you have one wound left. Three, four, five storm bolters are going into this squad of berserkers and the assault cannon first. Three, two, You six. make all of them. I don't know what to do. The puzzle is puzzling. Uh, these are the rest of the Terminators. Yes. I will get four. One goes through. Uh, you take one damage. For your troubles. Drum bolters are going to go into the, yeah, the Dreadnought. 
smite, and I'm going to overcharge the smite. The assault cannon will also go to the demon prince. First thing we're going to do is the librarian. We're going to smite into the demon prince. I get five shots. The librarian decides to go big with his witch fire, and the demon prince finally drops. Librarian, kill the demon prince. How do you feel? Librarian fails his hazardous test, takes three wounds for his troubles. Tack is not catching a break here. These are going into the hell brute. Incidental tickling of the hell brute triggers its frenzies, and that is a big really? melt of shot to the face, and a terminator goes down. That is not going good for me. He's killing more than I am in my own face. Gilliman, keep down. Okay. One, one, one. Get a two. Okay, so one is left with one. Talus is going to fire. Multi melt up into Angron. His other guns fire into the Berserkers. Iron Hill into the Berserkers. Uh, wounding on fours. That is not a wound. Going to Angron with the uh, multi melters. Uh, only one hit. However, he is now my open moment target because the Demon Prince died. So, wounding on fives. Four. Which is his involved. Okay, so nothing happens. Okay, uh, onto the charge phase. Gilliman is going to charge into Angron. He's in. Sorry. The Terminator's here. That is uh, six, seven, eight, nine. That is nine. I got it. And looks like we got a fight. Those Terminators are into the Berserkers. Failed charge by the Termies into the Hellbrute. All right, so I'm using Command Point. I know that's risky, but points are points, and I'm at I'm in desperation mode right now. Tack wants to try again. Still fails. I saw the six. Retalus Dread is going to go into the eight-bound. Redemptive Dread will going into the jackals. Funny. There's still always a way to turn things around. I'm having popcorn, okay? Corn one of this. We are in the fight first phase. Okay. You know what that means? You are the defender, they fight first. Berserkers with the uh, Master of Execution. Hitting on twos. Got it. Threes. Ah! But you're looking for sixes. I get none, but that's all wounds. Uh, which I fail one. So two damage. So that captain is down to, I believe, three wounds left. Eviscerator is going next. I got six attacks, hitting you on three. Four ups, of which I make only one. Jeez. One dies. Oh, yeah, one dies. Power sword, bye bye. Three left, 12 attacks. Here we go, hitting on three. Uh, so three ups. Oh, jeez. Uh, one's down to one wound. Then it might fight first. The Terminators will go. Three on threes. That is too many misses. Why are you doing this to me? Twos. Five ups. Ooh, that's no. Um, that's six I go for. Kills all the Berserkers and the Master of Executions left. He's wounded for two, yes. So this is now the captain. And then wounding on threes, AP two. All good. Oh, you make them both. both. Oh. Dave is coming in clutch when he needs to. Gilliman has seven attacks with the fist. Rabute Gilliman into Angron. This is the main event. Right, he's hitting on twos, but this does have lethal hits. The Avenging Sun is set to slap Angron with the Emperor's fist. Luckily, you are my oath moment target. Four up. Oh boy. Uh, okay, look that four go through. A 16 damage. Angron fails, just enough saves to die, and no, Dave can't let this be how his champion performs today. All day long and we're gonna yes! fail. We're gonna fail, we're gonna fail. Angron comes on and does nothing. Gilliman takes down Angron, still in this fight. Angron has left the building. Angron, what is with this? Vitalis Dreadnought is now gonna hit into the eight bound. Hitting on fours because I am damaged. I'm going to spend a command point. I'm searching for two on this dice, which I get. Uh, would you make, uh, roll three dice on the first one. That has one wound left. No sixes. Okay, so he's dead. Roll three dice again on the one, and one six and he lives. He does live. That's a lived. The Redemptor Dread into the Jackals. Three are dead. Eight bound here, hitting on threes, that's all hit. Rerolling and he fails. I feel one and he dies. He dies. But I, my jack was really good. Nice. Yep, they do. 14 attacks. 14 attacks. Two two ups. I roll a one, of course, and a jackal 
somehow gets under the undercarriage and tickles the pilot for a wound. <laughs> With a pretty solid turn two, Tack has managed to score 22 points. The Ultramarines have managed to deny world leaders their bonus four points for killing more with the bodyguard berserkers dropping, as both sides have killed three units this turn. As long as Angron doesn't come back, tax has got a chance here, but he needs every unit on his table to do work. We got Blessings of corn. okay, beginning of the round, and we get not a single six. Woo no triple sixes, so no Angron this turn. Total carnage. Okay, so if you kill me, I get to still attack before I'm removed. Nice. And then warp blades, so that's the lethal hits. Right. Secondaries, overwhelming force. Ooh. Dave pulls overwhelming force as his other secondary. Time for more killing. We go into battle shock. You have one battle shock test to take, which is on the berserkers in the middle. You're good, you're good. Okay. Four points on primary for Dave. That's a big lead now, 34 to 22 in favor of the world leaders. Look at the board, there's too much blue. So that to me, it means that the number means nothing because yes, we're ahead in points, but look at the blue. I see blue and that's making me uncomfortable. Moving, okay. all right, let's see this. Here we got Hellbrute moving forward towards these Terminators. World leaders continue their aggressive push forwards towards the dwindling Ultramarines. The Mauler Fiend and Eight Bound could clean up Tag Zone and strip that objective from it. And that's it for that. Now for the shooting phase. multi melta at the Terminators. On freeze. That's one hit. And wounding on uh, that. I save it. Karn is gonna be shooting at this Redemptor Dread. He hits on a two. And then he wounds on not that. Okay. On to your favorite phase. Surprise move by Dave. I thought he was gonna send the Mauler Fiend into Guillemin, but instead he sends the eight bound into G-Man and the Mauler Fiend is going after to munch some heavy intercessors. We got the Hellbrute into the Terminators, which were good with an eight. <laughs> and then we got Karn and Coat against the Redemptor Dread, and we get an eight again. Did you just roll three eights in this charge phase? I think I just did. That's gonna yes. prophesize something. Yep, Korn wants it. Korn wants it. So let's see how effective this fight phase is for you. Where would you like to go first? Okay, let's just do Mauler Fiend first. All right. So we got uh, seven attacks on the charge there. On three. On threes. Then. On twos, probably. Five ups. Hoo-ya! I make one. First one, second one, third one. Now for the Lasher Tendrils. Heavy Intercessors hang on and deny the Mauler Fiend. One wound remaining. Still OCU four on that objective. Hellbrute. Nine attacks on the charge, hitting on threes. Got a lethal in there, and then wounding on threes. Three ups. I, jeez. Oh, two damage to you, so you kill one Terminator. So we're gonna Master of Executions, then we got five attacks. One goes through, does two damage, I believe, and he has two wounds remaining. Huh. Okay, we got eight bound against Gilliman. Ooh, we got uh, six hits and two, which are lethal. Freeze. Winning you on three. Win linkage. So I've got four ups. Yes. Dave was right about the eight bound being all he needed. Gilliman is killed for a second and final time. No more resurrection. Rabute Gilliman is a puddle. Dave really wants to go to Japan. There, there is much happiness here. <laughs> <laughs> it's possible to be happy, sad, and sad happy. Because I'm experiencing it right now. Despite Dave's desires to lose, it seems the Chaos Gods have other plans. Okay, now Karn against Redemptor, and you got 10 moves left on this dude. I have nine moves left because you tickled my chassis. Oh, that's right, with Skulltist, right? So if I skulls for the Skull Throne, I add one to my wound roll here. Got nine attacks because I charged you. Hitting on twos, getting two, three lethals here, and it's all hits. Yep. Dave uses skulls for the skull throne on the unit led by Karn, and the Redemptor goes down to all that berserker aggression. Four. And again, same thing. Can't reroll to save his life. But does he go boom? No, he does not. Okay. Terminators going into the Master of Execution. Huzzah! Oh, the Master of Execution finally goes down. Man, I love that guy. The heavy intercessors. Nothing. Going into the Hellbrute. So I'm wounding on fives. The EP2, of which you fail one. And then uh, force weapon on the librarian. On threes. I hit you. But I have sustained, so uh, two go back in there. So I roll four dice. I try to wound you five times. Both go through. Oh, wow. Oh, D3 each. 
Okay. You could kill me. I get four. So down to two. My frenzy's attacking me back, man. Oh. Hitting on threes. Oh, and you I got get a bunch two of lethals. lethals. And then wounding on threes. <laughs> Nothing. Nothing. Yay. A good roll. You saved my life. What a brutal fight phase. Will the Eaters look to have a stranglehold in this game now as Dave scores both his secondaries and pads his lead. Heading into Tack's turn, we're going to need to see if his Terminators can get him out of going to the bunker. I think Dave hopes Tack can have a comeback here because he really wants to go to Japan. I'm going to ult the moment the Hellbrutes in the back there. Secondaries, I'm going to draw two new ones because I did score mine at the end of the last turn. So I'm going to pull Area Denial, never going to get it, and Cleanse. Now time for the Tactical Doctrine. It might be too little too late here. We go into Battle Shock before we do scoring because if I Battle Shock here, I cannot score that objective. So that is two dice. Pass, luckily. And unless those Terminators can pull off a miracle, I'm not sure if TAC can bring it back. Not much in the movement phase. Terminators fall back from the Hellbrute as Tactical Doctrine allows. Heavy Intercessors retreat from the Mauler feed. Terminator unit is going to go around that objective and try to cleanse it so they are not shooting. Hoping I can take down the two wounds left on that Hellbrute. So auto cannons into the Hellbrute. Ooh. Same hits in that unit. That's good enough for me because it just did four mortals. Oh, he takes down the Hellbrute and shooting. Let's see if he explodes. This one's for you, Nick. He does not. He doesn't explode. The heavy intercessors are gonna just try to take the last wound off of the off of one of your eight bound. So wounding on fives. If you want. No. He's good. Alright. Well, the world leader's definitely killed and killed some more. With that, it's a commanding lead for Dave. Tax not gonna be able to climb this hill. Should probably be looking at booking a flight for Ontario. Hey Chief, are we all going with you? We won't deny Dave the fun of a final round of spilling blood for the Blood God and collecting skulls for the Skull Throne. I mean, it's kind of what Korn does. We gotta let him have that. <laughs> Kill me, Burn. Blessings of Korn, yes. It's not that great. It's, uh, well, I do get a triple five. Unbridled bloodlust again for Dave. No prisoners and extend battle lines. Yeah, that's more points, but Dave focused on killing. Now for the movements here, I'm going to move, advance. So how far are you going? Let's see. That's only a one. I'm gonna spend the CP to reroll that for cards. Four, that's much better. So that's that, enough for Mahler Fiend. Eight bound, they advance five. They're right up in their face, they're, they're, they're fine. I am going to spend the command point and overwatch, here's hoping. Give me a six. One There's six. a six. Give me a five. No, damn it. So now for charges. Let's do eight bound into the heavy intercessors. Charging in. Let's do Mauler Fiend charging in. Harn and unit into Captain and Terminator. So that's five. five. Failed charge by Karn. Dave won't allow that. That's an eight. They are now in. Oh, yeah. So let's go with eight bound first. We'll do the one dude who's got five attack. Dead? Yes. Now over here we got Karn and Gron. He's just the thing that comes and like everyone looks at. But really, it's Karn and the Berserkers on the battlefield doing all the work all the time. Hitting on threes. Threes. Threes to wound. Taking on threes. One dies. Four attacks with the Eviscerator. Two at AP2, so four ups. Of which I don't make either. So that kills one, and one has one wound remaining. Now it's Karn's turn to go. Slaughter! Noise. Okay, so he's got eight. So four ups on my M-Hall, two dead Terminators, and uh, you got the captain. No way. Kill me! Burn! Okay, now that's pretty awesome. That, that's just, that feels really good. Tack is left with a librarian who probably wants to go home and read more books. Looks like Tack is gonna concede. Congratulations, Dave, for going full corn and winning this battle. I think the incredible blessings of corn to start the game set Dave down a path of victory. 
Korn really wanted it, even if Dave really wanted to go to Japan. Tack, looks like you're booking a flight to the bunker. We know you can't do this until sometime in late 2024. However, we aren't done yet. Dave has demanded more from Angron, and up next we've got a special team battle 40k in 40 minutes. Team Chaos is Mini Wargaming Dave teaming up with their own Child of Chaos. Tack needs to get back to editing, so Moobin will play Ultramarines and partner with Tanya the War Mistress for Team Imperium. Patreons and YouTube members get access to our 40k in 40 minutes early as well as great exclusive content. Special thanks again to this episode's sponsor, Frontline Gaming. For battle mats like the one we use in this episode, check out Frontline. Affiliate link is in the description. Tack is finally coming to the bunker, which is obviously an extension to play on tabletop and everyone here who wants to come over. And lastly, Dave, I've been told that while Tack won't be taking you to Japan, he will let you know the dates for his next trip. And if you and your family happen to be there at the same time as he is, he will tour you around Tokyo and Kyoto. And I gotta say, from a completely biased standpoint, like when I'm looking at the Rabbit Star miniatures on the tabletop here, play on tabletop, it's like very surreal. Super cool of them to do this and to have this wonderful experience and to thank, to really honestly, it's just providing an opportunity for me to poke tack for a good amount of time. That's it from us, folks. We hope you enjoyed the mind games and maiming and burning brought to you by these two today. Until the next time we see you in the far-flung future of a grimdark universe, play on. <laughs>